Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos and today we've got a PO Box opening video. I've been leaving this a little bit late because I knew there was a couple of last minute arrivals but if you want to write to me don't feel obligated to send me anything just a letter or a postcard will do me lovely. There you are. You can call it Caledonian Coins or you can call me Mr D. Up to you. <laughs> Caledonian Coins PO Box 7678 that's Perth PH2 1JH. So yeah don't know if this was sent at Christmas or just a leftover from the stamps, but yeah, this is the first one that arrived. I thought I'd uh, start with that one. They're pretty much in the order of what they arrived at. I've had a, I've got four today, so let's let's start off with number one. I'll probably do this speedy up a bit, make sure there's no uh, exposed addresses or anything like that. I've taken every care in the world to try and cover up addresses. Ooh. Dear Darren, aka Caledonian Coins, and hello Lisa, <laughs> a happy new year. A little something attached to bring you duck luck puddles, <laughs> smiley face. So it's great fun watching the live videos, respect to all the work involved, brilliant. Nice to see the recorded ones too, thank you very much. I do like doing both videos, live streams are relatively new to, compared to the recordings, but I'm loving them equally, just as both equally. Personal thank you for getting me back into collecting again after many years. You all, some other great people, aka Christopher Collects, Absolute Coins, UK Coin Hunt, Bungle and more, hope to get to the mint one day soon. I'm working on completing album one, lol, and album 150p and two pounds, but getting there slowly. I hope the real 50p puddle duck makes it all the way up north. Fingers crossed, 50p, my favourites are WWF, New Team GB 2020, oh that's excellent choices there mate, excellent choices, Battle of Britain, NHS, Isaac Newton Steel Needing, haha, <laughs> PTO, Paddington at the station, equals Team Tower, <laughs> okay, <laughs> I do love Paddington at the station though, that's brilliant, £2 favourites, What's that one? 1908. Oh, the abolition. Nice. Oh, no, no. 1908 Olympic. Sorry. My best. My mistake. 1908 Olympic. That's a nice one, actually. Uh, the Roundel. The Underground Roundel. That's a cracker. I do like that one. Great Fire London. Oh, I do love it when I find one of them as well. But to be fair, many, coin, many great coins out there. So wishing all the best. To more great streamings, keep up the great work. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching as well. It must take many hours, but what great efforts when you find such lovely coins. Happy times, thumbs up. All the best from Christopher, Mr. H. I do collect from London. Wow, thank you, look at that. He wasn't lying when he was sending me a puddle duck. That's pretty good, I, like, I do like tracing. I love that. Well, I'll keep this somewhere safe. I'll definitely keep that. Might get it laminated, actually. Keep it preserved. So I don't want to be rubbing that or knocking. Oh, lovely. Look at that. It's even covered with tape. It's covered up so it wouldn't rub away, but I'd like to keep it preserved even longer. That's nice. Thank you very much, Christopher, Mr. H. Thank you very much. And here's... What's this? What is this? Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's a belter. That is a belter. Definitely. Thank you very, very much. I love this. I love this. Got to be a noble thing. I can see that now. I can't usually see it when I, with my eyesight. But that's brilliant. Thank you so much. Wow, what a start. What a start. Keep them safe. Thank you very much, Christopher. And I, I hope you find what you're looking for. Definitely keep my fingers crossed for an Isaac Newton. Might send you a trace of one one day. <laughs> there we go. On to the next one. And we have one here. Two Darren Caledonian. I've done my best to cover up, but as you can see, art collectible enclosed. Purple Fairy. So this is exciting. This is very exciting. I shall have a wee couple of minutes. Got to say hi to the scissors. They always make an appearance sometime during the videos. But I've got to be careful when I open this one up, okay? I'll probably do the old... Uh, Transition thing. 
Oh, wow. Thank you so much. Wow, look at this. To Darren, as promised, your 31st January, strike your own Brexit 50p. Thank you for your amazing channel. You well deserve this gift. Love from Purple Fairy. A big hello to Lisa and keeping my fingers crossed to meet you one day. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. 31st of January. This, this is, wow. This is this is the one that you got on the day, isn't it? Wow. Look at that. Just thank you so much. I'm well blessed with this. I couldn't make it down. It was far too short a notice to get down there. Uh, all the other coin tubers and a few of the people that watch all the channels regularly were all meeting up. And I just couldn't get the time off work. It was too short a notice. The planes were too expensive. Hotels were fully booked. It was absolute bedlam. But I managed to get myself one of these from Purple Fairy. Big shout out to you. Thank you very much for doing this for me. Oh, wow, look at the shine on that. This is my first Brexit coin. I still, as of today, have not had any in my change or any in my coin orders. I fully expected to have one uh, in my post office order this week. But when I got to the post office, they were like, have you got any of those Brexit coins? And I'm like, I thought you guys would have them. <laughs> you know? And they're like, no, we've had so much demand for them. And I'm like, well, I know there's going to be a lot of them. So bear, in, bear with them. They'll get them. They're just probably filtering through the system. But this is officially my first Brexit coin. Here we go. I know Brexit isn't popular up in north of the border, but there are people who wanted to do it. 37% of them did. And uh, I've had a few of them people coming up to me saying, can you get me a hold of the coins? I've said, look, just buy their time. They'll, they'll arrive. They'll get here in good time. But look at this. I'm going to have to go and show Lisa this in a second, but I'll do that at the end of the video. I'll definitely have a look at this properly. I'll not do a bungle and touch the coin. <laughs> Big shout out to Bungle for that one. <laughs> but thank you very much, Purple Fairy. Go give her, her a subscription as well. She's got a wee channel, shows off some of her coins, shows off some of her art and crafts. Wonderful wee channel. Nice to watch. Lovely. Thank you so much. I'll go and show Lisa and I'll let her know you're asking for her. So on to the next one. And on to the next one. Here we are. This one I sent myself. No, no, you misunderstand. I didn't actually go out and post myself a letter. No, no, no. I did myself a favour and bought something off of eBay. I've been kind of like looking for one of these and I thought, oh, why not? Now's a good time while I, I had my Christmas bonus. So I bought this. I've done myself a favour and covered up the, the addresses and the things like that. So let's have a look at what's inside. Make sure to hide the evidence there's no evidence that's good no evidence to hide but look at that i might need mr scissors again well packed cardboard thick sticky tape oh look at that at least the sticky tape isn't on the actual coin I think I might need to get myself a wee capsule for this one though. Let's open this up. Oh yes. Oh yes. Do I need the gloves? I'm going to put one of the gloves on. Just the one. Just to hold it. Do my uh, snooker referee impression. <laughs> I got these gloves at the Royal Mint themselves. Really lovely. Fit nicely. There we go. Have a look at that. It's a Royal Mint one pound trial piece. That's the reverse, I believe. It's got the Royal Mint crest and coat of arms. Well, is it crest or coat of arms? I can't remember. But that's what you get under the, on the doors. I'll quickly turn it over. There we go. Oh, I should have worn both gloves, eh? There we go. 2015. It's not the expense of 2014 one. Oh, no, no. Not on my wages. But it's a 2015 one. And what a cracker it is. A little mark there, but I'm sure that's passable. Now, all I need to do is find a wee capsule for it. I will take the glove off. Yeah. Put it back onto here. 
Look at that. I'm going to have, have a quick zoom into. Look at that. It kind of reminds me of that old pound coin. From, was it two? Was it 1988? The one with the crown on top of the shield with all the royal arms of Scotland, England, Wales, and Ireland. Is it? But yeah. I do like that one. Now all I need now is a two pound one <laughs> with a Mayflower. Hopefully to go with the Mayflower one that I got earlier in the annual set. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the old quick transition thing and see if I can find myself a capsule. So what I have here is my album. This one's pretty full. It's got my 10p early strike from 2018. But at the back, it also contains all my old round pounds. Now I don't seem to have a capsule to fit the, the new one pound because as you can see here the one I got from that year is still loose. So I'm going to do myself a favour while I'm doing this at the same time and take this out. This is the first on circuit. Well I got it out of a bag at work so i put that into one of these little pouches instead. Keep it preserved at least. There we go. Pop that into here. Keep that right. So what I'm going to do is I'm put the, the trial one into here as well. I know that's a bit sticky with sellotape marks, but I want to keep it preserved as best as I can until I can find an appropriate container for it. Now, have I got any space? That's the next question. No disaster, no space. But thankfully, this brings us on to our next P.O. Box item. You may have noticed it was very, very large. It was this. I was chatting away to a certain young Monty788 on my live stream and on Discord. And he said he had a, something, a, a little something for me. Little, little being the operative word here. So I'm going to do the old speedy uppy thing while I open it up. Here we go. As you can see, a change check album. He had going spare. I was refusing to buy one at whatever price it was because I was thinking of just going to, well, originally I'm going to go and get the early strike 2019, but I haven't got around to getting it yet. I'll probably get it around the same time if the 2021 hits. But he very kindly offered this to a good home. Look at this. High Caledonian Coins. Glad to find this album a good home. Monty. So thank you very much for that. What I'll probably do is I'll keep that other album and keep my early strikes in there. Dedicated for that one. He's even given me the inserts as well. Look at these pockets. So now I have somewhere to put my trial piece one pound. That's brilliant. What a legend. What an absolute legend. So... While I set this all up, I'm going to see if I can find any other change checker paraphernalia. I think I've got some in a drawer over there. I'm not 100% sure what's left from the last time I got albums. But um, I'll do that wee spinny thing and we'll have the end result. I'll see you in a minute. So, all put together, thanks to Monty and his donation of this lovely album. Thank you very much. I now have a dedicated £1 coin album. Now, there's still a couple I'm missing. The obvious NIFCs. I think I might have a couple of album sets kicking about. I don't know if I've got them all. I'll have to check and see my, what I've got because I've forgotten there's so many different ones that I have and don't have. I really should update or even make myself a new Mr. account. <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Still looking for the 1998 and 1999. I'm still looking for the 2008. I'm still looking for the 2015 Shield of the Royal Arms, 2016. Ignore this one because I do have the last round pound and the blue change checker card. And I've got a few territories sitting here as well. What, what have I got? I forgot what I've got. Uh, that looks like Gibraltar, that looks like Jersey, Guernsey, Island Man, a few different ones. A few different ones there. Quite a Let's open this up. Let's have a look. There we go. 
Neanderthal skull, Jersey, I think that's Jersey, Falklands, Isle of Man, Isle of Man, Isle of Man, I think that's Isle of Man as well, I don't know, can't remember, Jersey, one with cricket on the back, I don't remember that one, uh, Jersey, And there's uh, one from Gibraltar as well. And there's my first new round one pound, uh, 12 sided one pound. And here's the one with my trial piece. A bit of a unhappy looking sellotape covered pocket. But it's what's going to protect it. And I think I've just flunked that one up, haven't I? Yep, here we go. Open that up, put that back into there. And pop that into here. This will be housed nicely in here. See if I can get a few other random territory one pound coins. Ones I don't have. I know there's a lot I still don't have. So there we go. Thank you very much, Monty. You've given that a home. Given a whole lot of other one pound coins in your home and got a few more pockets as well and inserts to boot so yes i'm going to dash off now what an extraordinary video i don't know i couldn't say if i've got a favorite there's no way i'm saying if i've got a favorite i love this i love my trial piece one pound i love this and i love the personal touch of a letter as well from both purple fairy and from Mr. Christopher, Mr. Christopher H. I collect, so I. Wonderful, wonderful. I love getting letters from y'all. Like I say, don't feel obliged to say, send me anything in the post. This was all prearranged with Purple Fairy. And thank you very much. So was this. Anyway, if you're having a hunt, have a happy one. I'm going to wait and go show Lisa all this. She'll be happy. <laughs> Catch you later.